Okay, welcome back. I mean, have to say that early, very sharp losses across Asia have, uh, you know, are, have pulled back. I mean, Hang Seng, for example, was down four, but it's down two. Uh, and in line with that, I mean, uh, the SGX was down some 80 points when we started at 8 in the morning. We're down about 55 points. So there is a little bit of pairing of that sharp cuts that uh, has happened already. Anuj has hopped across uh, to our studios uh, to tell us what he's watching out for in terms of uh, trade setup. Anuj, hi, morning. Morning, Prashant. Uh, uh, morning, everyone. Look, uh, but, uh, I think this morning's big news is what's happening in China. I think uh, normally China's pain is... Uh, India's gain, we actually outperform when China falls like this uh, because it's all about ETFs uh, which shift uh, and sensing momentum into India which is at all-time highs. Uh, crude's down, dollar is down. I think buy on dips really remains the only theme. I think you've seen that play out a bit in you know, SGX Nifty already. The only uh, caution factor, and we discussed it uh, you know, over the weekend, uh, is the overbought nature of the market with Nifty Futures Premium of 133 point and FI long exposure where it is. Uh, but you know, if ETFs again start to buy, I think that would be an interesting thing. On the Nifty, I'm tracking two levels. Uh, first is Friday's low of 18.445 on spot. Uh, that is uh, crucial. And I think uh, normally on days like today, you have algo trades which uh, play with the SGX Nifty uh, as low. Uh, SGX Nifty low as stop loss for futures. Uh, normally you buy for, you know, in, in first hour and put that as a low. That trade normally works. Uh, 18.250, of course, is the base for the market. I think for the Nifty, uh, keep an eye on Nifty IT because if the market has to reverse, the first reversal signs will come from Nifty IT, which really over the last two days has been the strongest index. On the bank Nifty, you have seen some call writing at 43,000. So 43,000 to 43,300 remains the resistance. But I'll be watching out for Nifty IT and for mid caps and small caps to catch up.